What's up, YouTube? My name is Tommy Israel, and I'm responding to a video that I saw by Paris Milan concerning the video of those Arabs beating those sisters up at that gas station in Pittsburgh. Number one, Paris, how do you know that? How do you know if black men were there or not? How do you know if black men were there or not? I mean, y'all sisters about swirling. I don't see you blaming white men. What? There was a white girl there. Maybe there was white men there as well. Where's, where is the blame for him not protecting y'all? I mean, y'all about swirling. You're pushing swirling. Indirectly, you're, pu you're pushing swirling. I saw the video you did about the, the, the white man who, who raped and killed his daughter. You really wasn't that angry. Why? Why, Paris? Cynthia G never made a video about that. Why? Why you guys seem... Every time a non-black man does something to a black female, you guys don't really report that. There was the situation with the cop in Alabama at the Waffle House. Not too many black, black females didn't really report that story when a guy was, was, was trying to arrest her, taking her clothes off. I don't remember. They ain't have sisters reporting that story. Why? It goes against the swirling narrative. It goes against your swirling narrative. So it hurts you guys to ever talk bad about non-black men. But let Lil Wayne or, or, or Cody Black or whoever say something about they don't like dark skinned females. Five, six, seven of y'all make videos about it. As if Lil Wayne represents all black men. But let one white man or one non-black man does something to black females. That's not a representative of all of those guys, is it? But if one black man says something about he doesn't like dark skinned females or he doesn't like or, or dark females bring dark days, that's all black men. Right. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to be real, man. Stop with the lies. I live in New Orleans. I live in the hood. I see dark skinned Boys and girls, who you think they came from? They came from a dark-skinned black man and a dark-skinned woman. Why y'all saying that black men don't like dark-skinned women? That's a lie. So what if some doggone celebrity says something? You don't hold female celebrities to the same uh, to the same uh, level. You don't. This is ridiculous. Where I live in New Orleans, it, yeah, there's there's a lot of Arab corner stores and, and and gas stations and different things like that. But guess who guess who these Arabs hire? They don't hire their women to cook the food. Who are they hiring? Who are these Arabs hiring in these black communities to cook the food and different things like that? Black women or Hispanic women, brown women. That's who they hire in their stores to cook their food. Now, I'll be wrong to say. I'll be wrong to say. That some of them Arabs are having sex with these black and brown females that they work for. I'd be wrong to say that, wouldn't I? Okay, let's flip it around. Let's say black men had that power and they had those corner stores and these gas stations. And let's say they hired non-black females. Would you think, would anybody think black men would be having sex with these non-black women? 
If black men had the power and they had these stores and they was hiring all kind of white females and they was cooking the food, seeing how white girls walking in the, the stores have dress, would you think that black men are having sex with these non-black women? Would anybody think black men in power would be having sex with these non-black women? Everybody would think would think that the brothers would be having sex with these sisters. I mean, with these non-black women, wouldn't they? So why why shouldn't a black man think the same way? If a black man was in position of these corner stores and they was employing all kind of non-black women, and they controlled their dollars, and they see how they come in half dressed. And they, they come in, you know, you know I've seen, I, come on now, I see these sisters flirting with these Arabs. They call them baby and, and daddy and poppy. I see it. Tell me I'm lying. Come on now. These sisters go in these Arab stores and they flirt with these men. They flirt with them. They come in there. They have dress. They butt all. They butt hanging out. The booty cheeks hanging out and everything else. Why their women are, are, are fully clothed, fully. So what, what you think they thinking? Oh, but it's the black man fault. She's dressing like that, right? Come on now. Make it make sense. See that that's the thing. That, that, that's the thing, even with Cynthia G. See that this is the thing. I mean it, it's the it's the Popeye, it's the, the, the Popeye cartoon syndrome all, all along. If you know the thing, if you know it, if you know anything about olive oil, olive oil always went to whoever won between Popeye and Bluto. Whatever man was on top, whatever man kicked who ass, that's who she went with. Oh, Popeye, you're so strong. And then when Bluto kicked his ass, she went to Bluto. Oh, Bluto, you're so strong. You're so handsome. And then when Popeye came back and kicked his ass, she went back to Popeye. I mean, what, what, what's a black man worth to any of y'all? Instead of you blaming the man, uh, blaming the race of men who was doing the act, y'all want to blame black men. You don't even know if a black man was there. I live in New Orleans. Ain't no black men going to watch no, no heiress beat no sisters like that. Y'all need to stop. They had, they had black men attack Tom, Tommy Sotomayor, just punched him right in his face for disrespecting a black female. I don't see no black females attacking Cynthia G. Ain't no black male, ain't no black female attacking you, Paris, physically. But black men are jumping on, on Tommy Sotomayor. They punched that man right in his face just for disrespecting black females. Y'all need to y'all need to go ahead on, man. Y'all y'all the y'all the reason. Some of y'all sisters are the reason why we have this doggone gender war, this black gender war. I go on YouTube. <clears throat> I go on YouTube. Some doggone Jamie Nikki. This interracial relate. This interracial couple. Man, black females are sitting there crying because their relationship is over. Crying. I haven't seen one white female make a video about about that situation or crying yet.
I mean, black females, y'all say y'all date out, y'all date out the least, but yet you're on YouTube videos with with your white boyfriends the most. Asian girls allegedly date white men the most. Where are their videos? I don't see no, I don't see no Asian. I don't see the the tons and tons of Asian girls, white men, how we met videos and and interracial couple tags and. How I love white men. I don't see Asian girls doing that. And she don't have the history that y'all have with him. He raped you. Murdered you. Fed your children the alligators to get alligator skin and, and to make leather and, and belts and all of that stuff. Pushed you over in the, in the Atlantic Ocean. He did all of that, and yet y'all still trying to run back to him. Y'all got more. Y'all got more videos loving white men than anybody. Why? But that's just like the saying goes: you treat a person like dirt, they stick to you like mud. If you treat a person like dirt, they stick to you like mud. Who treated the black woman worse in this country than anybody and still doing it? Come on now. This is ridiculous. Y'all just y'all come on now. This is this is nothing but hypocrisy. You just got mad at Fantasia because. Fantasia said black women need to submit more to her man. And y'all had a problem with that. But now you want black men to go out there and fight? You want them to go out there and fight? Yet y'all just made, y'all was making all kind of videos having problems with what Fantasia said. Come on now, make it make sense.